welcome back. You should already know who it is and what you're watching, but just in case you forgot, I'm Chef D as always for Chef State of Mind. And today we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently. We're gonna do as little talking as possible. So, you may be asking yourself, what are you cooking today, Chef D? What are you gonna teach us how to cook today? Today, we're gonna be making a pork tenderloin with a watercress and escarole salad and a sweet potato mash on the bottom. So, let's stop all this talking, get right into it, cause you already know this is the best place for the best tips, tricks, and solutions to all your culinary problems. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so, we have our pork tenderloin here. We're gonna go ahead and slice that in half. Then we're gonna put it in a smoking hot pan with a little bit of olive oil, all right? So, if you come in a little bit closer, you're gonna see, we're gonna cut that right in half. You want a sharp knife. See how easy that was? It's like nothing. It's like butter. So, you got a little bit of salt here. You don't want to over season tenderloin. It's super easy because it's super lean, okay? Alright, we got a little bit of pepper. I like to do a coarse grind on it. Flip that over, get both sides, alright? So, our pan is smoking hot as you can see. So, I'm gonna turn down the heat to about medium high. I'm gonna put that right in there. You hear that sound? That's exactly what you want, alright? So, you're gonna let this cook. Do not, I repeat, do not move this around the pan. You want it to have a nice crust on it, alright? We're gonna let that sit there for about two minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have your pork cooking, we can turn our attention to something else. Today we're gonna be making a salad dressing, a balsamic and olive oil salad dressing, alright? So we're gonna have our shallots and garlic cut already. I'm gonna put that into the bowl. Shallots are expensive, okay? So we have our balsamic vinegar. Probably should open this first, but you know. We have a whisk. First thing we're gonna do, now we're gonna put that olive oil in first. We're gonna put the gonna put the vinegar in, alright? Gonna do about a fourth cup. Okay, that was two shallots and three cloves of garlic. Okay? Just put a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. All right, so we're gonna start mixing this. All right, so our salad dressing is done. And it's literally that easy, folks. You just wanna keep whisking, add the oil in extremely slow, all right? That's called a most emulsifying something, emulsification, all right? So, now that that's done, we're gonna turn our attention to the sweet potatoes. Just stay with us and we'll be right back. This is done, your fork is cooking. We're gonna turn our attention next to the sweet potatoes, all right? Remember, we're doing sweet potato mash, all right? So, first things first, salt. Second thing second, pepper. Salt and pepper, everything. I don't care what it is, all right? We have a little bit of heavy cream here. Okay. Just gonna put enough of this to get it started, all right? A little bit of butter here, okay? Gonna break that up so it just melts a little bit easier. And then, a fork. So, we're just gonna mash that in. Come a little closer so they can see it, cameraman. See, I'm just mashing that up, mixing it around. All that butter to melt too. All right, and it's that simple, all right, people? So, it's that simple, all right? 
the salt, pepper, butter, a little bit of heavy cream. Of course, you're gonna roast those sweet potatoes on 400 for about 20 minutes. They'll be nice and soft so that you can do this exact same thing, all right? So, you come over here. I'm gonna turn this pork. Oh my God. That's, listen, listen to me. If yours don't look like that, do it again. Go back to the beginning. Make sure it looks exactly like that, okay? You want that nice crust on there, all right? So, we turned it. What temp are we going for, you may be asking yourself. We're going for a medium well. We cook this medium rare. Rare, if you like that. Medium. But I like mine's medium well. So, if you watch my lamb video, you should already know how to do this. You have one hand. You have two hands. What is this? That's medium rare. That's medium. Medium well. Well done. You do not want that last one, okay? We're going for well done. Medium well, all right? So, we're going to let this cook for about two to three more minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, so now that everything is done, your salad's all cut up, your um, salad dressing is done, your sweet potatoes are done, now we're going to turn our full attention to the pork, all right? We have three cloves of crushed, crushed garlic right here. Let's throw that right in. Then we have about four cubes of butter, all right? So let that melt. Then we're going to baste this. If you watch my lamb video, again, I'm probably going to put it somewhere up on the top, just so you click on it. I'm going to baste this, um, this pork. So, you may be asking yourself, Demetrius, what does this do? It helps our pork to cook a lot faster. We're going to also get an additional crust on top of that. And then, we're going to infuse some of that garlic flavor right into that pork, all right? So we're going to turn up our heat a little bit. I'm going to let this garlic melt. I mean, let the butter melt. All right. So we're going to turn our pan just like this. Boom. Easy. All right. Sketch my last ones, tune in for next week, and look, as always, we'll be back. Subscribe, comment, like, share with all your friends, and make delicious, delicious meals just like this, as always. This is Chef State of Mind, I'm Chef D, and that's it. <laughs>